back again with another video today's video is another uh strange call a couple of days ago i got a call from a young man here in new orleans a young dude and uh my subscribers and viewers know when i say the word young dude you know what i mean he called me up and said he was having uh, some problems so i went got with him and uh he tells me for the last three mornings uh, he would get up, get out, walk out of his bedroom. And there'd be a black cat sitting in his living room, looking at his bedroom door. He said uh, he don't, he didn't have any uh, animals, no cats, no dogs, and he knows damn good and well all his doors and windows were shut when he went to bed. He would pass, uh, walk past the cat, slow the cat, didn't hiss or do anything to him. The cat would stand up, walk behind him. He'd go to the door, open the door. The cat walks out the door, and he said that went on for three nights. And uh, he finally broke down and told me that uh, he had some friends from Boulder, Colorado come visit him. And uh, they screwed around and went to St. Louis Cemetery and did a seance or a Ouija board session at the tomb of Marie Laveau. Then uh, one of the friends from uh, Boulder, it was a male and female, broke off a, a big chunk of the corner of her tomb. He said uh, it was at the corner, and as y'all know here in New Orleans, her tomb is made out of the red clay brick. And he said you could almost see inside the tomb. And he said uh, after they left, uh, about two or three days after they left, that's when this activity started. So uh, <laughs> once again, you got people going around fucking around with shit they shouldn't be messing around with doing seances, Ouija board, and cemeteries, and then doing damage to the grave site. Now I had called him back to see when he reached his friends what kind of problems his friends was having in Boulder because that's where the, uh, the chunk of the tomb went to. Now as everybody here in New Orleans know, uh, Marie Laveau shows up sometimes, one of her uh, things to show up as a black cat. Uh, I'd been out in St. Louis uh, Cemetery on a couple of occasions that night, and uh, I can't, you know, you know how I am. I gotta have documentation or evidence. But what I seen, uh, I seen a, a black cat once or twice by her tomb. I mean, like staying close to that tomb, not just wandering through the cemetery. So I left from there after he told me that little man, uh, little dude lives on Frenchman. Went to St. Louis Cemetery. And sure enough, on the corner at the back, they took a, uh, it was way at the bottom. It was a nice chunk of con uh, brick that they took off, but the maintenance people had already patched it up. So I'm not sure. Because my thinking was, if we could go back there with the, uh, with the item and try to replace it, maybe that was, could be it. Uh, he said he had called uh, a friend of his that dabbled uh, into witchcraft or something like that and they uh, did a cleansing of his apartment and uh, it, that didn't do anything. I mean he's not having any uh, any bad luck in his life and his job or anything like that right now. It's just a damn black cat she keeps showing up every morning just sitting there and walks behind him through the door and leaves. Now I don't know uh, What's going on with his dumbass friends in Boulder? I'm not going to do anything until I get that piece back. And uh, what I need to do is have uh, him and his idiotic friends come back from Boulder and bring them back to the cemetery and replace it and do some offerings to him if that's it. I, I don't know, y'all know this, why people do things like that and then when the shit hits the fan, they uh they always want to uh, dial numbers and stuff. I don't think that anything would come of it, like in his life, in his job, or anything like that. He works in the quarter at one of the uh, hotels in the kitchen. He said he hadn't experienced any bad luck there, no road closing or anything like that, no uh, health issues up to now. But uh, once again. Got idiotic people going out doing shit that they shouldn't be doing. 
in cemeteries where they shouldn't be doing it, to graves that they definitely shouldn't be doing it. So uh, I'll get back with y'all. And uh, I told him this time, when he gets up in the morning, as soon as before he walks out his door from his bedroom, start videotaping on his phone, so uh, he can download a copy to me, so I can download what he's seen on my website, so y'all can see it too. Uh, that's my guess for right now. Uh, the only reason I'm saying that because Marie Laveau, the Voodoo Queen, uh, appears as a black cat, and I said before I've been in St. Louis a couple of times uh, doing things. And uh, I've seen a black cat hovering around her grave. I mean, you see cats and stuff and dogs going through the cemetery, but they're wandering around, you know, I mean? you know they're going from point A to point B, not just lingering around one place. So that's my guess up to now. As soon as he get a hold of his idiotic friends in Boulder and see if they have anything, that he's got to definitely come back. And like I said, what I ought to do is uh, have them fly back and all of us go back there and replace which shouldn't have been taken. So uh, as soon as I get more information on what's going on and make contact from the people in Boulder, I'll get back with y'all. But once again, <coughs> we on a uh, another detective case, I guess. It's, it's just getting ridiculous with people doing dumbass shit that they shouldn't be doing. Uh, like I said, as of now, that's the only thing I can think of uh, going there to her grave performance of a Ouija board section and then removing knocking a big chunk off and I could see if they had a piece laying on the ground that they picked up and not stand there and knock a chunk out of the woman's grave and uh, wondering why some things happen because basically you fucking with the queen of queens uh, <laughs> I mean it is what it is but they stupid so I'll be getting back with y'all as soon as I get some more information and stuff and that's my guess for right now what's going on uh, as soon as I get the people with Bold and talk to them, I'll get back and uh, shoot out another video. As always, uh, like, share, and subscribe.